Ah, oh, yes, the beautiful sky on an evening at Homestead Know How Life is Good. All right, guys, so what we're doing is uh, we've got some corn, and we're going to shuck it. Now, I'm going to do this one-handed, so this might fly here, there, and everywhere, but I'm going to take my chef knife, or if you have a meat cleaver, that would work too, as long as it's clean and no raw meat on it. And I'm just going to take and I'm going to give this a good whoosh, like a whoosh, whack right there. Cut the end off and then I'm going to husk it. Um, and then we'll desilk it and uh, get them in the freezer. Alright, here we go. Just a one, two, like that. Alright. And then what you can do is you can take it and just peel it. And it's going to be hard for me to do. Oh, sorry. My fat hand in the way. I'm trying to. Alright. Yeah, I'm sure I'm not getting the video. Alright, so, anyways, you just peel the husk back. Like so. Alright, and I'm going to feed all this leftover to the pigs. You can see where it grows there. All you got to do is break it off. All right, now you see all the little hair that's silk, corn silk. And you can just kind of, all you got to do is rub your hand down it. Kinda like this. Get all that off. All right. And put it in here. All right, so one more time. Take your corn. Lay it down. Find your, you know, just you can kind of feel the corn inside. But you can... Like so. And I'm not saying this is the right or wrong way. This is just the way that I decided to do it. Alright, so, so as you can see, I'm holding the corn down here with one hand. And I'm shucking it. And then we'll break that off. Like so. And get all the corn silk. Now you might find that there's like some corn kernels missing uh, or there might be a couple discolored. If you want, you can just cut that discolored off. The one's missing. I had one here. Let's see. Let's see if I can find it. Well, like, I mean, you can see this one. It's not like they grow all even and stuff anyways. Here, here's one right here. All right, so if you look down there, you can see it's like they just didn't develop or they just kind of fell out. All right, so there's nothing wrong with that. So that, and then, you know, of course the pigs will eat this. And goats might even eat that too. But a good way to, you know, save your corn. You know, don't think if you plant corn, you have to just eat it. And then what you can't eat, it dies or gets wasted. If you go buy this from farmers, I mean, it's super cheap to buy this. Farmers will sell this to you in your local area for super cheap. And then you can just husk it yourself, or if you would like, you can clean these ends off, leave it in the husk, soak it in water for a day, and then uh, take and peel the husk. No, don't peel the husk back. Then take aluminum foil and just put butter all over this, all over the husk, all right? Wrap it in aluminum foil, and you can cook it on your grill in the aluminum foil. Um... And then when you take it out of the aluminum foil, you can peel the husk back and eat it. Or you can actually uh, soak this in water and just cook it in the husk, and it's good that way as well. So there you have it. We're outside enjoying the beautiful weather. You can hear the jar flies in the back. See the ducks, chickens, barely getting kind of that time of day. And we're trying to get this finished up. We'll catch a little bit of a movie tonight with the kiddos. Uh, homestead know-how. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that thumbs up, likey, likey, thumbs up. Smash that notification bell, and there'll be more rad videos coming your way.